Assalamu alaikum again and a lovely lovely morning to all of my students and whoever is watching this video right now uh, in another session in another class uh, colorful uh, creative which you always enjoy and I always enjoy uh, and that is the arts class so we are in our arts class today and though it is hot and humid uh, so we always need to have uh, like um, uh, we want something which makes us comfortable. Uh, we need to sit under the fan. We need uh, to put our ACs on because it's so humid. And uh, if uh, we are somewhere where we don't have a fan, so we definitely need a fan. So I thought of making a fan today. And that will be a colorful fan, <clears throat> uh, which we'll be uh, using. So uh, let's see how we are going to make that and what we're going to do today. So uh, to make the fan, um, I have uh, this cardboard, uh, which I'm going to cut into uh, the shape, which I'm going to tell you. Then um, definitely uh, for cutting and all, um, I need scissors. But as I told you, as I always tell you that you are not going to use the scissors and the uh, cutters all alone. You need somebody to help you, to assist you in that, right? Uh, then I will be using a couple of uh, paints. Uh, there will be a green paint. Mm, there will be a, there will be a red paint, and uh, there will be a little of uh, the black paint I will be using. Sorry, this is not the black. <laughs> so uh, we will be using uh, the black paint. So I will yeah, black paint. Okay. So I'll be needing these uh, things, and yes, I'll be needing uh, this uh, ice cream stick. Uh, for uh, the fan to hold uh, that is a paper fan uh, you can use a paper plate for that as well and you can use the cardboard so I'll be using this because this is a little thick and this really gives you oh yes okay so uh, what we're going to do is that uh, first of all uh, we're going to cut the cardboard into the circle shape right because we're going to make watermelon fan uh, we're going to color it like a watermelon so we are going to uh, make it circle right so you can uh, have a big stick to stick over here and you can use the hole as uh, like this as well or you can even cut it from the middle so what you're going to do is we are going to cut it from the middle today right so i'm going to adjust my camera Okay, so uh, we have uh, this circle with us. So we are just going to put it into a half. So we are just going to draw a line. Okay, so we are going to cut it. In the middle, we are going to cut this. It's not a very hard cardboard, so I can easily cut it with the scissors. Otherwise, uh, you need a cutter for this. And that is for not for the small kids to use. Okay? Alone. So now we have this half uh, piece, which is like a half moon. And now uh, we're going to paint this. Okay? So we'll be needing a plate for painting, uh, in which first we will take out a little of the green color. Just a little. If we'll be needing more, uh, then we will take out a little more. But right now we just need this. Because we have to make the, the outer part green, right? This part we're going to make green. Now we're going to take Now this part, like this, we are going to paint green. This is the outer part. And you know that the outer part of the uh, 
watermelon is green right so we are making it green right like this and make it green This is the outer part of our uh, fan, of our watermelon fan. So that's why we have to make it green from here as well. So the edges are also not left unpainted. Oh, sorry. I hope you can see this. So this is the outer part of a watermelon fan. Okay. So I'm just leaving it like that. I'm not putting much of water so that will not get dried. So I'm just leaving it like that. Okay. So we'll put it aside. And now we need the red paint. So I'm going to take out the red paint. Add a little of water, not much. And this is the inner part of our watermelon. Okay. I'm not adding much of the water. I want it a little thick so I can handle it easily. Okay. So this is the inner part of our oops, watermelon. Everybody loves watermelon because the color even is very nice i love the color of watermelon the red especially because it is my favorite color so i really love this red and yes of course the taste of the watermelon is wonderful it is wonderful i really love it mm, it's so yummy watermelons are yummy and they are tasty, they are sweet, and uh, though it, they have like a lot and a lot of uh, water content in that, so it's, it's really good to have watermelons in the summer season that hydrates your body, that gives you energy, and this is very sweet. The, the people who like sweet, they can have watermelon in winters rather than having like cakes and brownies and all this is very 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 refreshing okay wow this looks like uh watermelon right so one more we need to add in that and that is the seeds for which we need the black color right so we are done here with the red color and the uh, green color and now we need a little of the black color very little my colors are being dried up i think okay just a little more So we are going to take out a little of the black paint that is good enough and then we need a earbud and this is not yet dried you can see right this is shiny so uh, i think we can use this 
but to make the seeds out there. Right. So see? So we are going to put the seeds of your melon over here like this. Okay. Right? Now this looks so pretty and colorful. Mm. We don't like seeds in watermelon, but they look nice, you see? They add something, something. And so we are done with the paint and this. And now this is what we have, right? Now this is the, the watermelon which we have. And now how can we make it uh, in, uh, into a fan? For that we will be needing this stick which we can uh, put it over here like this or maybe this way, whatever you like, right? Like this, we're going to put over here. You can paint the stick as well, right? If you want to, um, you can, uh, put the glue uh, over here you can put the hot glue over here you can uh, put it uh, with the tape uh, as well so that is up to you you can use the uh, ice cream stick you can even use uh, the uh, paper uh, uh, st uh, the strips which i uh, told you how to make uh, you can use uh, both of them that's up to you how you're going to hold that so right now what we'll be doing is we will be just putting the tape over here just to show you because it's um, uh, not dried yet so we are going to just put a little tape at the back of it just to show you that how you're going to put this on right so we will just hold it like this because this is not yet dried and uh, we are going to put the stick in the middle right just put the stick in the middle oops and now we are going to put the tape over here we have stick the tape with that and I will be needing a little more tape. Oops, I got stuck with that, but that's okay. So I'm just putting it over here. It got messed up. It's not dried, so I cannot press it so hard so that got stick at the back. Right? So this is how you're going to stick the with the tape or with the glue gun right so this is how we are going to hold the fan in our hand right now this is how this is going to look at the end of the activity you can make it a big stick you can use something else over here uh, so that can hold the watermelon over here uh, firmly so when you you are waving it uh, that is going to uh, give you proper a uh, fan feeling right so i'm just holding it from here because it's not yet properly stick so you can yes oh wow that's that's nice so uh, you can uh, use a different kind of fruits uh, whatever you like you can make it as an apple or watermelon or melon or peach or whatever you like so this is our watermelon fan for today uh, that looks nice so you can make it and uh, use it for uh, to give it in your parties as well to use it at home as well and use it as an indoor activity as well so uh, i hope you have enjoyed uh, making uh, the watermelon fan so that was fun so i'm going to say goodbye from this class now and we'll see each other in the next class inshallah very soon till then uh, stay safe be happy make fans uh, at home for fun for an indoor activity and um, uh, be grateful for whatever you have okay so i'm going to say goodbye till we see each other soon inshallah i'm going to say allah face see you soon